What's up? This is your girl Pinky from PinkyTripleX.com, and you are watching Scrapple TV. You're watching pornography. N.A. Poe here at Exotica Expo 2014 in Edison, New Jersey for Scrapple TV. We are embedded in the porn industry for three days. We'll be interviewing the girls, going to the parties, following around the people that run the event, and shit's gonna get nasty. Shit's gonna get nasty. Now, do you use marijuana to work? Like, do you use marijuana to get in the mood or like to heal up a little bit? I smoke since I wake up in the morning, before breakfast, then on the way to work. How often do you use marijuana? If I have a lot of shit to do, then yeah, all day long. <laughs> marijuana get you through things like this? Yes. <laughs> and then before work, before makeup, before my outfit, um, before having sex. And I know a lot of kids that like need weed and it's important that their parents aren't criminals to to take care of them, right? Don't be anal about it. <laughs> After having sex, before going to sleep. You're a very productive woman. You own your own company. You're an entrepreneur. So the idea that stoners don't do shit. No. That's I what mean, look, I'm a stoner and I've done a lot of shit. I love you. You know that, right? I personally feel very sexual when I get stoned. I think it brings me into the mood a little bit more. Well, my girlfriend's always like, they're totally faking it. Like, what percentage of it is work for you? You do like fucking enough that like you love every time you're working? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I do not care for the nine inch fucking big ass porn cocks, okay? You wrote an article on feminism where you're like, sometimes what I do is completely fucking feminism and sometimes it isn't and like, really, I'm just fucking working. Porn is no more empowering than working at McDonald's or your like high paid desk job or whatever. So he asked me if he could take a picture of me and I said, sure, no problem. He goes, okay, well, I want it really sexy. I, I looked at him and I said, why? Well, I think I'm the sexy, okay? I feel aggravated on behalf of my friends. Yes, I'm just like, you don't get to talk to them like that. I'm sorry. What do we think? It's adorable. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> A big shout out to our judges, Evan Stone, Jesse Chain, Mick Blue, and Poe, ladies and gentlemen. Going to check out our celebrity judges. Really working that crowd. There she goes, hitting the pole. Dirty Diana rolling around. If I'm not mistaken, something just came out of her mouth and it was kind of hot. I was at home chilling. I got a call from my man, Poe. He said, Poe, I mean, he said, oh, you know what? I need a man to come down here to interview the black porn stars. I love white boys. <laughs> I love black boys. I love nice guys. Guys who love to touch themselves, who aren't afraid to be nasty, because I'm a huge fucking pervert. I love flicking my bean. I love coming to girls, guys. You know, in Hollywood, sometimes the black actresses, the actors don't get treated necessarily the way the white, uh, white actors actors do. Do you find the same thing in porn? I think it's changed. I opened up a lot of doors for the black porn stars. Um, come into mainstream magazines or mainstream music videos. Spitting on fucking faces, coming on faces. If someone asks me for a picture, I always will. Autograph, I always will. Only time I might say no is like if I'm with my family. And then sometimes like, no, you know, it's not cool. But, um, but when I'm in a place of business, I always charge. Bukaki, cockles, I love all that nasty ass shit. And he was fucking me so hard that I started bleeding so bad. He like ruptured something and it looked like a murder scene and it wouldn't stop and then we couldn't finish shooting the scene. But it actually was really hot because it turned me on. I was like, ooh, that's hot. We were still fucking. She snagged her snaggletooth and 
threaded a good inch long. Uh, yeah, take that home and think about that, guys. And I started to pass out. And I told them, you know, I'm starting to go out. So they pulled out their safety scissors and started cutting the duct tape. And the poor still photographer panicked because he didn't have anything to help me with. And he whipped out a pocket knife and stuck it in my Achilles tendon. Oh. If you would like to try getting a spanking or you know something like that, we can facilitate that for you. And we have people who are just so excited that they're going to get their first spanking ever. You know. So, well, maybe I'll get my first spanking. We're going to take a walk around the dungeon. Brian, what, what is your station here in the dungeon? I do fire play. I set people on fire. And people get turned on by this? A lot of them get very turned on by this. Right. Oh, that one was fucking hot. All right, get the fuck out of here now. <laughs> this is how I pick up chicks. <laughs> I feel completely relaxed. I mean, this actually kind of feels kind of good. I'm like getting rid of that pressure on my chest. Uh, it's interesting to be suspended in this, uh, in this way. I'm enjoying it. I wish someone would toss my salad right now, though. <laughs> when the fans can meet us in person, they're more likely to buy and rent our movies legally and not go to the torrent sites, not go to the tube sites, because they see the real people. What are the chances of Chloe Amour doing a line off my cock? Uh... Evan, you are legendary in the porn business. How many women do you think that you've, had, you've slept with in your career? Uh, about 5,000. Wow, that's, in, that's insane, huh? Are you worried Evan Stein's got a Nancy Kerrigan you? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Here's my impersonation of his interview. <laughs> Me, 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 me. Number one in the porn industry. <laughs> oh, yeah. And everyone's got to kill me to catch yeah. up. Did this narcoleptic thing? Yeah. Before he would just like, you know, go off somewhere and sleep. Now he just like. No, sorry. And everybody respects it. They're just like, okay, man, sleep and they're all just waiting to wake up. Hey, listen, if you want to win a flashlight, don't go anywhere. We are about to give a flashlight away right now. Well, that's it for us here at Exotica Expo 2014 in Edison, New Jersey. Thank you. Uh, we had a wonderful time this weekend. We met so many amazing people. I'm kind of like tired. Like this is how I probably think that the girls feel after they get like their brains fucked out in like some eight hour scene because I am literally drained of all life. And um, I just want to smoke marijuana and go to bed.